Hello and welcome to the course on Docker Basics. My name is Sijish and this video I will explain how to create a Docker file. So Docker file is a simple text file so that contain list of instructions or steps to build a new Docker image. So let me create a directory for my testing. So uh, Docker build. So going inside the Docker build directory, no need to be in the same name. So you can have any name for this directory, but this file should be with the name Docker file. So if you are using some other name, so you have to specifically uh, exclusively mention that while Docker build. So like any uh, other programming language or any uh, code, so hash here also just for the command. I'm just putting hash and writing something. So that is just a comment. So the Docker will not execute that. And the from keyword. So which is the base image you want to use? So Ubuntu latest. So I'm using Ubuntu latest as my base operating system image. Then uh, maintainer. So it's an optional uh, field. So who has written or who is uh, writing this uh, Docker definition file or who is creating this image? So I can write my name as Hadoop engineering here. And next is uh, what are the commands or what are the steps we need to execute uh, inside this. So for that I can use the run. So run command will execute while building the image itself. Okay, I'm just using app to get update. So that will just update the packages and again uh, another run app to get install. Uh, open as such so I'm, I'm going to install uh, open as such another thing uh, you should use everything like uh, iPhone Y flag because otherwise it will ask yes or no and your docker build may fail uh, so this run command will be executed next is the CMD so CMD the difference between run and CMD is CMD will get executed when you build a container not a, during docker build but the run command will execute during the docker build. So that's it save this file now uh, if you uh, view the content okay so there is a file called docker file and the contents looks like the from maintainer run and CMD. So. I can check what are the images available using docker image ls and building the image we can use docker then build option iphone t then what is the name of my image so I'm just using uh, my cont my ubuntu uh, then add some tag colon 1.0 and uh, dot what is my present which is nothing but my present working directory go ahead and enter uh, okay so this doesn't support an uppercase letter for the name so I, I have to change that uh, in name so let me change it back to lowercase so now you can see the docker build process has started so here you can see from Ubuntu latest so since the Ubuntu image is not available locally so it's downloading from a repository then doing all these steps you can see all the steps the run it's doing then uh, what are the steps we have mentioned inside the doc, uh, docker definition file is uh, doing those things here as i said it will execute the run but not in the cmd option so you can see finally the build has successfully completed and we got the image as my ubuntu 1.0 now we can just use the docker image ls and see what are the images here you can see ubuntu as well as uh, my ubuntu ubuntu is a uh, base image that we used and along with that so my ubuntu is the the image that we built so let's run a container using this ubuntu my ubuntu so docker run you can use for running docker run uh, that image name so here you can see the hello world is getting printed that's it for this demo we will see in the next video thank you for watching bye